Well, finally, we've got a nice stretch of weather for us here in Eastern Carolina. It just timed out right perfectly for the weekend. I'm Storm Track 12 with your relevant just Les Dale here with your Friday morning web forecast, and I am tracking nothing but sunshine. We saw it develop yesterday afternoon, today, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, maybe even for the first part of Tuesday as well. And as a result, we're really going to warm temperatures up. In fact, for the first time in two weeks, finally getting above normal as far as daytime highs are concerned. So let's take a look because it's been almost two weeks since we've had temperatures uh, above normal. Average for this time of year is that upper 60s, low 70 degree range. So last day we were above normal. We were in the 80s. That was back before Halloween, October 27th. We've had 13 days and counting of below normal daytime high temperatures. So it kind of got me wondering, are we setting any new records? Is this normal? Well, yeah, it is actually usual. There is generally, on average, a stretch of about 10 to 15 days about every year that will have below normal temperatures. Most of them happen in November through February. And in case you're wondering, our 13-day and counting streak now is nowhere near the record. The record is 29 days. That was back in 1978, where practically the entire month of February was below normal. So, uh, again, it's... Uh, not completely unusual, it happens, but it's just been rather chilly and we're waiting to warm things up. And that's exactly what we're going to start to do as we head on through this weekend. Storm Track 12 forecast does show still chilly temperatures for the day today. Upper 50s and low 60s for highs, mid 50s at the beaches. Another cold one overnight tonight. Uh, beaches probably holding into the mid 40s. Uh, maybe some freezing temperatures, though, in deep inland spots. And then for the day tomorrow, there's our return to seasonal temperatures upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Now, we started off in some upper 20s, just as I had forecasted this morning. 28 in the Husky, 28 is where we started off in Richland, same thing in Kinston. 36 was the low this morning in Moorhead City. Take a look at future track. We'll quickly warm our way out of the 30s into the upper 50s and low 60s for this afternoon. So going to be a chilly one overnight tonight. Again, maybe some uh, 30s possible. Low 30s at that for deep inland spots, but you'll notice for the afternoon hours tomorrow, we're talking about temperatures that will warm into the mid to upper 60s, knocking on that 70-degree door, and we'll get there by the time we hit Sunday. Lots of high pressure and sunshine basically east of the Mississippi River. That is going to be our dominant weather feature for this weekend. So when it's best for us here, that means it's a beast out west. As far as the weather is concerned, the strong low pressure that's working its way in across the Pacific Northwest, that is going to develop a storm system that will be a blizzard for Montana this weekend, tomorrow into Sunday, then potentially severe weather, Chicago on eastbound into the Ohio Valley as we go in through Sunday and Monday. This is what it looks like as far as the jet stream level is concerned. We're getting rid of the trough that's been stuck here in the east for this last couple weeks. Upper level ridge builds in with plenty of High pressure and warm temperatures underneath of it here. We are going to be looking at that ridge extending along the eastern seaboard. West-southwesterly winds bringing that warmer air out of the desert southwest in the Four Corners region to our neighborhood as we go on through this weekend. And you'll notice that upper-level ridge still maintains itself along the east coast for Sunday. And then eventually by Monday it starts to break down as the next trough digs in. This is that storm that's going to come in across the Pacific Northwest. Again, blizzard conditions for Montana tomorrow going in through Sunday, and then uh, potential for severe weather with all this surge of warm air coming up across uh, the uh, southern Great Lakes as we head in through Sunday and Monday. And notice most of the upper-level energy stays north of us as we head in through Tuesday and Wednesday. It does bring the front through here late Tuesday night, We'll have to see if we can get any moisture for us here in eastern Carolina in the tidewater of Virginia that could give us a frisky thunderstorm or two. But it does look like that's going to bring a streak of our warm weather to an end. Now, notice that high pressure centered over Tennessee this morning. As future track is showing us, we are going to be looking at nothing but sunny skies in here as we head on in through this weekend. Veterans Day on Sunday looking absolutely gorgeous with temperatures into the low to mid 70s for any kind of your outdoor activities. So no problem there with sunshine around. Maybe you're planning on heading to the Veterans Day Parade tomorrow in Moorhead City. It steps off at around 11 o'clock. You'll line up with temperatures into the 50s. And by the time the parade wraps up, we're looking at temperatures that will be into the mid 60s at that point. So a nice stretch of weather coming our way. Finally, after having two weeks of below normal temperatures here in the east, We'll get a little bit of a reward and return above normal for the first part of next week. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday. 
I'm Stormtruck 12 meteorologist Les Still.